Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you, please invite your friends and today we have a topic is about Islam is the best. You know, if we ask Muslims how good Muhammad in mathematics, he will say to you he's the best. But then we go how Muhammad speak about the law of inheritance and you will see that Muhammad he got not only D, he will get not even F, he will not even get Z, not even Y. If we ask Muslims how Muhammad is good in history, they will say he is so good, he is the best. And then we will find that Zulqarnayn was exist in the time of Moses, and Moses was exist in the time of Jesus, and Aaron, the brother of Moses, is the uh, you know he is the brother of uh, of, of Mary, and uh, Haman is the minister of the Pharaoh. <laughs> if we ask the Muslims how good Muhammad in biology. They will say he's the best. And then we check the Quran, we find that the woman, she have a sperm coming from her ribs, and the man have a sperm coming from his backbone. And if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a male and will look like the father. And if the woman have orgasm first, the baby will be a female and will look like the mother. And Muhammad, he says that one of you, is, uh, he will go as a sperm, be collected in the belly of his mother for 40 days. So Muhammad is the best in biology. What about Muhammad and astronomy? Oh, Muhammad is the best in astronomy. Go and search YouTube. You'll find tons of miracles, brother. Discovery of the black hole in the Quran, brother. Expansion of the universe, brother. And then when go, we check and we will find that this all is a lie. And the fool Muhammad even, he make it clear that there is seven earth, seven heavens, and seven midget. And according to Muhammad, the earth is a flat. And there's a mountain around the earth. Azure mountain, which the sky taking the color, the color from it. In the same time, we find that Muhammad, he don't even remember which one he created first, Allah. He created the earth first, or the stars. Sometimes the stars first, sometimes the earth, sometimes the mountain, sometimes the, you know, genius Muhammad. Then if we ask Muslims, who is the best in a human right? They will say Muhammad. Brother, are you sure? Brother, Islam gave the women the rights. Before Islam, women, they have no rights. Oh, okay. Hey, brother, I thought that Muhammad, he used to work for Khadija before Islam. Which means Khadija, she was his boss. Hey, yes, uh, this is true. This is true. But still, they have no rights. Ah. As I remember before Islam, brother, women, they used to be queen. And they are rulers and they rule countries. Yes, true, 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 brother, true. But still, they don't have rights. Islam gave them their rights. Ah. Hey, brother, as I remember that in the Middle East, there used to be have uh, women who they are uh, a queen and they, uh, uh, they have absolute dictatorship even in their ruling. Uh, and even women, they used to have many husbands. Not unlike now, men have many wives. Yes, it's true, true, this is true. But Islam gave the women rights. And then if we check the rights of Muslim women she have, we will find that she have the right to be divorced by text message. She had the right to remind Sinus when her husband beat her. She had the right to be called stupid and to be called half a brain. She had the right to be a sex toy. Here we see some of the rights Muhammad gave to the women. Omar the Caliphate reported that the Prophet saying a man will not be asked about why he beat his wife. Hmm. I mean, think about it. Why a man should be asked why he is beating his wife? Yeah, there's no point. And the funny, it says wife. Are you talking about one wife, two wife, second wife, third wife, five wife? Blah, 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 blah. So, you know, the Muslims always, they say to us that Islam is the best. But if you go right now, check any human right, any country run by Islamic majority, you will find that there is zero human right in that country. You know, let us say for the sake of funny argument, which is not a true, let us say Islam was successful in anything. But if Islam is failing in the human right, Islam fail in everything then. But the funny Islam fail in everything, in science, in history, in ethic, in you know, everything. So how we can say Islam is a good religion? 
if Islam failed to give you the right as a human to be a human Islam forces you to pray Islam forces you to do fast Islam forces you to dress in a certain way Islam forces you to what to hear what not to hear Islam forces you what you can watch what you cannot watch Islam Islam is Islam is you know worse than the communist So the, the successful Islam is nothing but a big failure in everything. It's a dictatorship using the name of God. Like, you know, in a certain time, uh, some ch churches, they use religion to control people. Kings, they use churches to control the crowd. And that because they are evil, but not because the Christianity is evil. In order to control, like you will see in certain time, the churches they quote for you that kings are selected by God. But they will never quote to you that the Bible say in the same time that John the Baptist, he stood against a king who was doing unlawful things against God teaching. So those priests in certain time, they used to be the priest of the king. They are doing, you know, they are a politician, they are fraud. They are false like Muhammad, and Muhammad is no different. So, while in Christianity, there is some kind of, let us say, corruption came in touch with the uh, those who work in the business of claiming to be priest. Islam itself is a corruption from the beginning. It's not like a corrupt religion corrupted later. This is how Islam it was since the time of Muhammad, which means the first corrupt person in the religion of Islam is Muhammad himself. So in Christianity, if we find a priest as an example, he's a child molester, well, we spit on him. We reject him. And actually, Jesus, he said, it's better to put a milestone in your neck and throw yourself in the deep ocean before you hurt the little one. Muhammad, he did hurt the little ones. He molested them. He raped them. So, it might take some religious group long way to reach somewhere of corruption. But in Islam, it was corrupt from the first day. When Muhammad, he got married from his wife, and then we read the story from the Muslim books, Witnessing that Muhammad, he made the father of his wife and his wife together, both of them, they made their, the father of Khadijah drunk so they can lie to him and tell him that he married Muhammad to Khadijah when he wake up. If this is the first step of Muhammad, the successful Muhammad, it was a fraud, scam. So what do you expect? So there is a huge difference between a corrupt priest who don't present Christianity because a priest supposed he should be a person following Jesus and Jesus never did sin. And a Muslim sheikh following the steps of Muhammad. If I want to follow the steps, actually if a Muslim he follow the steps of Muhammad, even the Muslim themselves, they will kill him. They will accuse him of crimes. And this is telling you how much corrupt this man is. As an example, if a Muslim decide to follow the steps of Muhammad and have unlimited numbers of wives, according to Islamic law, he will be killed. Then you ask yourself, what kind of a law is made for one and there is a law made for the rest, the billions? Why there's a law, it says a man, his name is Muhammad, he can do whatever he wish. He can marry without witnesses, as an example. According to Islam, if you marry a woman without witnesses, this is invalid, this is adultery. Muhammad, you do not need witnesses. Muhammad do not need to pay the worry. Muhammad, he can take a woman from her husband if his eyes fall in her, as is reported by Ibn al-Arabi and in the book of Al-Qurtubi. Muhammad, he can take his own son wife. Muhammad, he can have an unlimited number of wives and slaves. Muhammad, he can do what nobody can do. Why this religion have a special license for the founder? Because the founder is the founder. It's not Allah the founder. He is the founder. So he create laws as he wish. There's laws fit with his pocket. So he take the fifth from every attack. 
The best of the booty, all of this is in the Quran. The best of the booty when it's come to women, to money, to wealth, to slaves. The best of anything go first to Muhammad. He is an exceptional in every law. If a Muslim try to follow the steps of Muhammad, the Muslim himself, according to Sharia Allah, he will be executed. But if a Christian, he follow the steps of Jesus, he will be called saint. Do you see the difference? If Muslim themselves follow the steps of Muhammad, the Muslim themselves, they will call the one who do such a thing. Let us say, I, I change the Muslim to say to me, I'm wrong. If a guy, he decide to marry 11 women, let us say, he have 11 women at the same time. What is the punishment for him? The Muslim, they will say to you, stone him. <laughs> Why? Because he should have only four. Okay, but he is following the steps of the Prophet. Oh no, the Prophet, he can have different numbers. This is a different story. <laughs> and here you see the fraud, how it works. The fraud, when there's a guy, he claimed that he is sent by God, but he made everything exceptional for him. Especially when it's come to sex and money. He is the exception. He is above all rules. Rules are made just for him. And not to forget to mention that the Muslim they have many hadith saying that if not Muhammad were to exist, Allah would not even create the universe. Allah even will not make us exist, will not make Musa exist, or even Jesus, or uh, uh, Abraham, or you and me. Even object around us, even stars, they are made because of Muhammad. The whole universe, to make it simple. was made for the sake of Muhammad. And you know, you might think that I am exaggerating, but no, my friend, this is what Muslim believe. As an example, this is a Muslim website, and they are quoting for you how many reference Allah and Muhammad speaking about that if not Muhammad, there's nothing come to existence. If not you, Muhammad, I would not have created the creation. Who said that? Allah. Somebody is asking the question, is this a Sahih Hadith, authentic Hadith? The answer is, indeed, the Prophet of Allah, Allah pray on him and salute him. Imagine the God himself, he pray on him. Is the reason for the creation of Adam and the universe, and the universe, that's it. I mean, do, do I need to count? If a Prophet, uh, Allah pray on him, was not to exist, then even the, the, the throne of Allah, the chair of Allah, the, uh, uh, the tablet of Allah, the pen of Allah, the sky, the earth, the heaven, the hell, the trees, the stones, all will not be exist, all the creatures. And here you notice with me that this is nothing but a fraud because you just said to me that even Allah himself is created to serve Muhammad. Why Allah is exist? To serve Muhammad. So I wanted to make a short video. I don't want to stay here long. And I want to uh, uh, remind you people that uh, I, I might, I will be moving to a different location. I'm not sure if I'm going to go tomorrow. Uh, so I will not have uh, internet, good internet to go live for some time. Uh, but I'm going to load short videos if my internet is not good or I could not get the internet ready. You know, everything now because of Corona is slow and bad so in case i did not go for some time i will post short videos and mostly i will post them in the arabian prophet and you can check and be updated by patreon just take a note of that so you can you know watch my short videos until we go back on life life again so i'm not going to keep you long uh, i'm really uh, tired today uh, a lot of work Indeed, if not Muhammad, nothing is created. If not Muhammad, there's no Corona. If not Muhammad, there's no cars. There's no electricity. There's no cats, there's no dogs. There's no birds. There's no cockroaches. There's no women, there's no men. There's no children. If not Muhammad, that's it. Muhammad. And you're funny, they say to you that we don't worship Muhammad. We believe Muhammad is just a man like everybody. 
I mean, if this is not worship, so what is worship? What is worship? Even the, the, if, you, if you read the stories here, actually, I'm going to post the link for you, so you people can, uh, you know, can read it by yourself. I think the admin he posted already. You can search at any time you want. Just search hadith, low lack, as you see, hadith of low. Like here, might, you might think it says law. You know, like the word law, law. Sorry, law. Law. Low. This is in Arabic. Low lack, which means if not you. All right, if not you. So if not Muhammad, there's nothing. Even Adam, when Allah, he asked Allah for forgiveness, and Adam, he said to, uh, to Allah, uh, forgive me for the sake of Muhammad. Allah, he looked at Adam and he says, like, what the heck? Read with me carefully. The Prophet Muhammad, Allah, uh, Allah, Allah pray on him and salute him. Even God, he pray on Muhammad, not Muhammad, he pray to God. Said that when Adam, he made a mistake, he asked Allah to ask, uh, 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 he asked you for the sake of Muhammad to forgive me. Okay. Allah, he said to Adam, how you recognize Muhammad, man, when I have not created him, man. Adam said, oh Allah, <laughs> Allah, <laughs> when you created me and blow into my spirit, I lifted up my head and I saw written on the throne of Allah in your chair, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad, so, Adam, he speak Arabic. Uh, Arabic was existing at the time of Muhammad. I mean, at the time of Adam. You, know, you have to acknowledge that. <laughs> and Adam, he and I, we know how to write, how to read right away. He, he nuts it. He write how he read. So he look up, he found on the chair of Allah, the Shahada. And then he said, so I got to know, Adam continues saying, that you would only join your name with him who is the most beloved to you. Here you notice that the Muslims acknowledge that Muhammad and his God, they join their name together. Can you believe it? They acknowledge that Allah, he joined the name of Muhammad. It's not Muhammad joined the name of Allah. It's Allah joining the name of Muhammad. And here you notice that obviously Allah, he have no purpose of existence if not Muhammad. Because if no earth, no heaven, nothing, there's nothing. Allah have nothing to do. But the purpose of all the reasons for Allah to exist is Muhammad as we see. Now, you can, you know, you can read and see how silly this talk is but obviously it cannot be more silly than this I mean if why Muhammad don't say I am God worship me and that's it it's obvious you see Jesus says I am the truth the Bible says everything created for him and by him but we are talking about Jesus the God here is the opposite everything created for Muhammad and by Allah supposedly but for Muhammad even the chair of Allah is created for Muhammad, not because of Allah. Why even the why even the throne of Allah and the chair of Allah and the pen of Allah and the because Allah have a pen which is very funny and Allah have a tablet which is very funny. Why all those things are created for the sake for because of Muhammad? Allah do not need a throne. Oh no, Allah he created the throne so he can write the name of Muhammad. Allah is crazy about Muhammad. He cannot sleep. He go like, he start writing the name of Muhammad. La ilaha illallah Muhammad is la. La ilaha illallah Muhammad is la. La ilaha illallah Muhammad is la. So all over the chair, Allah, he keep writing there. His name and the name of Muhammad. How in the world can this can be from God? From God? Just I want to, you know, I wanted to share a short video with you. And again, I might be away for some time and moving to different location. And I might be posting my videos in my other account, the Arabian Prophet. You can click on this video and you can subscribe in that channel in case you are not there yet. Uh, and for sure, I will post in uh, Patreon my videos, so always you can update from there. But I might post in Christian Prince, I might post in Arabian Prophet, but maybe mostly I will post in Arabian Prophet because YouTube is decreasing the number 
of the subscribers there. I did not use it for long, and they are stealing down, taking down the numbers of subscribers. So uh, I might not be able to go online for some time, but I will be making videos, you know, once every few days until I get my internet back, everything going to normal, and then we will go back to the old days of life. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. Uh, and uh, I don't know if any of you will miss me. Uh, I noticed that I'm making too many videos. And uh, I don't know, uh, maybe because people, they are, uh, maybe I have too much prediction, you know, so people are not watching much as before. I'm not sure. Maybe it's a summertime, people are getting out. I'm not sure. Uh, <clears throat> But for some reason, people, they like short videos. They like 15, 10 minute videos. Uh, uh, and I am, you know, it's way easier for me. I mean, to go speak for five minutes and go or 10 minutes, right? But I am passionate about what I teach, very passionate about my mission. And I believe that a class or a teaching cannot be a fast food. It can be an entertainment, yes, but not really a, a serious education. So what we do here is a serious education and uh, sadly, you know, you look at people who make five minute videos, they have, you know, by the end of the day, maybe they have a hundred thousand view. And the one who spend with people five hours, we have uh, maybe 16, 15, 20,000, you know, uh, but five or six hours, this is a lot of time sitting, you know, your back get hurt, your knee get hurt. Uh, uh, you you lose your voice. You get really tired. Uh, so I you know I don't know how how people think, and uh, why why they think such a way. Anyway, for me, I uh, uh, I do what I think it's right, and people they do what it, what is good for them. Uh, so I will post in the coming few weeks short videos. Uh, I will not make too many videos, you know. Uh, first, I will be very busy, and I will not be have I will not be able to have a, a fast internet to go live uh, until you know things is settled down and we have things back to normal. We can go live again, uh, and I wanted to share this with you so you will not be worried in case I am not showing for some time, and you might say what happened to this guy. Don't worry, everything is uh, you know everything is good. Always worry about those who do nothing. You know what I mean? You know, life life taught me that those who hide from death, they die. Those who fear sickness, they get sick. I, this is my experience with life, you know? Uh, I know many people, they fear death like crazy, and they died long time ago. You know, I'm talking about people who grew up with me, and my age, friends or re even relatives. Uh, people who they have uh, phobia from sickness, Ill, illness, uh, diseases, they die, you know, they die, they die, you know, they don't have a life actually, you know, so I believe fear is your death. So I advise you if you want to enjoy your life, even this is a different topic, if you want to enjoy life, put fear in a box, live my friend, live, because you will die only once, trust me. You will not die twice. You will die only once. And the person who have a fear, doesn't matter what kind of fear, fear from Islam, fear from criminals, fear from terrorists, fear from bacteria, viruses. A person who have a fear, he never enjoy anything in his life. Never. He will never be happy. He will not even know what happiness means. There's people, they have to wash their uh, pillowcase every day or change it every day. What will happen exactly if you sleep in it for the second day? Oh no, there's very bacteria. I will die. Those people actually, their immune system is very weak because they do their best to protect their body from illness. And that means that your body have less training against viruses. You will see a kid who grow in a village he is way more stronger than a kid who grow in a city. His mom, she don't let him walk without a sandal or something in his feet. 
A boy who grew in a village with naked feet is way more stronger and healthy than the boy who never touched grass or touched sand. And one day if he touched sand, he will get sick and he might die. For always there was extra protection. And this is not the nature which God created you. God, he gave you immune system. God gave you protection. God gave you life to live, not to be in fear. Nobody, nobody, trust me, can destroy you unless you destroy yourself. So my friend, my advice, because you know, the reason I'm talking about this, uh, you know, I receive sometimes, uh, you know, emails uh, asking me, um, like I posted a, a post in YouTube and somebody is threatening me. So I said, why are you post if you are afraid and you are a coward, don't talk, just keep your mouth shut. You know, if you are a person who have a phobia of people, you know, if you are scared, if you are a potato, you know, don't get married, don't get married, by the way, because somebody, you might walk in the street and somebody, he might flirt with your wife and you're present, what do you do, you run away, you will hide, right? So if you cannot be a man, then you will never be a man. I cannot make you a man. And nobody can make you that man. So fear is your enemy. It's not the enemy, your enemy. It is your fear, your enemy. When you see a woman, she jump in the top of a chair because she saw a cockroach. Now, who is the stupid here? Excuse me. The cockroach or that person, or maybe it's a man, not necessarily a woman. Uh, I mean, how stupid is that? I mean, it's a, just a stupid cockroach. You can smash him. Easy. Oh, cockroach. So fear, fear made you run away from a cockroach. I mean, look how, look what fear can do. Or a mice. You know, I remember once when I was a kid, my teacher, she decided to punish me. So she took me to a room under the stairs, and the room is dark, and this is where they locked uh, up uh, children who want to supposedly teach them how to behave. So she put me in the room, and, uh, and, and it's dark in the room, I see nothing, you know, it's under the stairs, it's like a small, tiny room. And then I heard something, and I, you know, I found that there's a mice, and because it's small, I capture him. <laughs> I get the mice in my hand. So after 15 minutes, she came back to check on me. So she opened the door. I throw the mice in her face. <laughs> so, you know, if a mice can make you live in fear, what kind of a person you are? You know, it's a mice. It's just stupid mice. Don't worry. It's not, you will not die. It's not a cobra. So live, enjoy your life, and don't let somebody you see we are talking about islam and human right this is exactly what islam is about islam is about fear when the man he beat the women he want the women to keep his her mouth shut not to ask not to question not to ask for her rights and this is what is terrorism terrorism you know if you grow up in a terrified family where somebody terrifying somebody and then you did not overcome that fear, that fear go with you wherever you go, then you will never be able to be a person, normal person, for you are already living under terrorism. Terrorism is not necessarily someone who joined Al-Qaeda and ISIS. Terrorism starts at home most of the time, and Islam teach you terrorism from the family. This is why Muhammad, he said, a man should not be asked for why a man he is beating his wife. That is the, the first practice of terrorism. I terrify her that if she question me again, I will beat the hell of her. That is terrorism. So if a terrorist was able to take away your right from you, you will never have a right. So never let somebody terrify you because either you live happy or you better die happy. What is the point of life if you live like a rat? What the point of life if you do not dare to open your mouth or to speak your mind? What is the point of life if you have no value, if you are a slave of somebody else? Life, my friend, is extremely important, but the freedom is life itself which means if you don't have a freedom, you are dead already.
you lost your life long time ago never let someone take your life from you which is your freedom for the day you lose it it's the same day you lost your life it's not the day when they, they bury you you lost your life it is the day you are in fear you don't dare to say your mind you don't dare to say the truth you don't dare to say your belief and that's what they're trying to do not only islam even liberals you know they try to silence you you cannot say this you cannot say that you cannot etc uh, you know they do everything they can so either you give up you surrender to the devil or you stand up and you fight for the truth uh, <clears throat> This is why, you know, the, the, the Lord, he said, uh, fear not those who destroy your body, but those who destroy your soul, right? So, the, you know, but what happened these days, people, they prefer to fear the one who destroyed the body and they give up their soul to that person. This is, this is what happened these days, sadly, you know? Uh, like, you know, why why youtube don't allow me to uh, to collect donation here because i speak what i should not say as simple as that if i make videos says islam is wonderful even if i speak about isis is wonderful they will not take donation down did you see any muslim they take his donation down they don't take it from muslims they don't take it down from atheists i never saw an atheist they take down his donation they don't Atheists and Muslims, they are protected. We are not. Why? Because they try to test you to see how much you have a fear, how much you are going to be scared. Oh, they will take the money from me. How I'm going to make living. Oh, no, I should not say those things no more. So let me obey them so they can let be happy with me and I will make some money. And this is how this is another form of terrorism. This is another form of terrorism. Because we live in the West, they cannot come and capture us for saying the truth. But they can, you know, harass you. They can, let us say, uh, uh, try to mute you. They can try to, to bankrupt you. They, they, they try. And they are powerful. They are extremely powerful. Right? Uh, so, and if they notice that they are, they, are, they are successful in their plan, they will do more. The, more. the more you surrender to them, the more they will ask for. They will never stop. They will keep asking for more and more and more until you became a truly a servant and a slave for them forever. You know, like these days, uh, everybody, if you want to do in the business of the media, you have to be perfectly correct. I don't know if you know, I deleted my account in Facebook, in Twitter, and Instagram, because what the point of those places, you know? They keep sending me messages. I mean, imagine one day I was debating with the Muslim, saying to him, it is, it is racist to say that shaitan is a black, not the, the, the color of black have nothing to do with being a bad person. Facebook, they send me a warning, not to the guy who is saying the devil is black, <laughs> can you believe it so this is a very perverted you know stage even this this youtube here i mean look at this youtube and they are waiting for you for any reason to take you down this is why i have to do you ask yourself why i don't keep my videos everybody keep his videos i cannot keep my videos so they are ugly they hate the truth and for them you are sick for them, you are wrong. For them, you are weird. For them, you are stupid. You see, they, they, they see it in the opposite way. So you choose what you want to be. Either you give up and let them, you know, somebody saying uh, uh, Facebook isn't smart. No, they are smart. They are hypocrite. Hypocrite smart. Don't, you don't know the hypocrite smart? They want to make money. And they wanna, and the only way to make money these days is to be a hypocrite. The second you say the truth, there's one of the things that will happen to you when you say the truth. People will go against you. People will call you names. People will frame you. People will give you titles. 
uh, Islamophob, homo homophobe, yeah, you name it, any, any phobe. But if you are against Christianity, there's no phobe attached to your name. But the second you speak against Islam, you are Islamophobe. Even by the way, there's some, you know, uh, uh, people who claim to be Christians, they are the enemy of Christ, literally. And they side with the devil against Christianity. Even they are priest and bishop. Like, you will find many videos in YouTube made by bishops speaking about how wonderful Islam is. And then you ask yourself, are those people blind? Did not, didn't they read the history? Didn't they see how, what Islam did? Didn't see what Islam, how, how many Christians killed, uh, uh, conquering, killing, stealing, uh, converting our churches into mosques by force, by the sword? And then somebody, he is a bishop, and even some of them, they are wearing a cross. They go and speak highly about the cult of Islam. Here you see how much the devil is powerful. The devil is so powerful, my friend. This is why Jesus, he warned us, he says, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord. And he says, many false teachers will come to you, many false teachers, and they will use his name. They will use his name. They will come to you in the clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves. So my friend, very easy way to know who is with the Lord, who is with not, is not. Isn't it the Bible says that who is the Antichrist? And the answer is the one who denied the Father and the Son. So how anyone can support and cite the Antichrist, yet he claimed to be Christian? When the Bible says anyone who denied the Father and the Son is an Antichrist. As simple as that, there's no need for interpretation. So how somebody claimed to be a bishop or a priest, he side with the one who the Bible described as Antichrist. Islam is bad for Muslims. Islam is bad for humanity. Islam is bad for Christians, atheists. It doesn't matter who you are. Islam is an anti-human right. Islam is anti-human belief. Islam is not a humane belief. This is the truth. And they will try to punish you for saying the truth. So, I want to say to you, be strong always, for they will always they will try to mute you when you speak the truth. But if you are a person who is filthy, if you are a person who speak wrong, trust me, they will support you. They will push you. They will put your videos in the top. If I make a video right now, like you see some videos, like reaction for the Quran, a guy, he opened his mouth, and there's a lot of people watching his video, YouTube push it. For me, I go live, even people don't receive notification. People don't even know, people subscribe, but still they cannot receive notification. They turn it off from their side, so nobody knows. If YouTube don't destroy my videos, or oh, sorry, my, my channels, I should have millions by now. But each time I reach a hundred something, my channel goes with the wind. As simple as that. But you will not find a single Muslim his channel disappear. That is impossible. So, you know, and for me, by the way, that is not making me frustrated. No, I know the nature of the fight. I know that I'm fighting the devil. So what, what I'm expecting, there's no expectation of, 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 there's no good expectation, right? So I'm not disappointed at all. Actually, I know that this is the right, actually, this is telling me that I'm doing the right thing. If everything is easy, it's mean there's something wrong. You know, the, 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 the way to the Lord is not the easy way. Nobody says so. Even the Lord himself, he went in the cross. He said, carry your cross and follow me. So if there's no cross in your way, there's no cross with you. There's no Jesus with you. So if it is so easy, it's mean you are doing wrong. You know, uh, uh, once I, I met a girl, she worked as a cashier. And she was complaining, she said, I work all day standing behind the cashier, you know, like nine hours, 10 hours, and they pay me 
seven dollars an hour something like that and then she said but there is a girl she used to be with me in the school now she's driving a nice car she didn't even have a good education I mean she did not even finish high school and I said what she do she said oh did she find a job in a strapteza club so if you are a decent girl who want to work with honor you will get eight dollars or seven dollars an hour then you pay more than maybe 40 percent to 50 percent or even more of your salary for rent then you pay whatever for electricity then you pay whatever for gas then you pay whatever for food then you pay whatever for whatever you have children's family husband whatever after all of this you have nothing left but you are being decent the women show his she strip she show her panties she get naked is the one making money and money come easy so actually this is how you know if you are doing the right thing or not when things come so easy something wrong is there how easy they make money when they sell drugs very easy destroying the life of others When things is easy, things is wrong. Even, you know, even love, even if somebody says to you, like him, let us say you met a woman, she said to you, second day, I love you. Or a man, he said to you, you are a lady, he said to you, second day, he met you, I love you. Something wrong. Easy come, easy go. That is not love. So, easy is really something always suspicious you have to be worried about it or let's say you have to be careful about it struggle make you stronger struggle make you smarter struggle make you a believer you see when they make steel they burn the iron in a certain way they put the iron into the test and they treat the iron in a very struggling way like from extreme heat to extreme cold very struggling but then you get the steel so you have to choose in your life what you want to be you want to be the easy and the easy way is the devil go sell your body sell your soul and money will come from everywhere very easy if you want to be with the Lord life will be hard you will be poor you will suffer people will not even like you people will think you are weird people these days even make make fun of girls who they are virgins they be, they call them weird stupid something wrong with them they make fun of them this is how bad life is become that the decent person become a joke for the jokers So, uh, uh, sometime we get disappointed and we think that we are going in the wrong direction because things is getting hard on us. Trust me, that is even a better, let us say, sign for you that you are doing the right thing because things is harder on you. Things will never go easy in a person doing the right thing. Never. If you, if you now call your friends and say, hey guys, I'm moving tomorrow. Like now I'm backing up my stuff. How many of them will show up? Maybe one, maybe two. But if I say, hey guys, I have a party. Trust me, everybody will show up. The way to test the truth is to struggle is not the easy road people who walk with you in a road which is going through a lot of struggling those are the real people who love you and they care for you you will see a man uh, suddenly he gets sick he can't even walk and his wife she will never leave him she stay with him she appreciate how good he used to be for her when he was healthy 
very loyal. And you will see a woman, her husband, nothing wrong with him. Still she leave, or vice versa, it might be the opposite. The man he leave. So, you know, struggle, faithful, straightforward, decency, always lead to one direction. Lead you to the Lord. And the other direction, easy, wealth, money, even people respect you, even people give you nice titles, people give you nice jobs, people they appreciate you for you are corrupt. If you look in front of you in the TV, let us say, let us look at the famous ones. Have you ever seen one famous one is decent? Have you ever seen one of those famous ones is decent? Be honest with yourself. Those who people worship them, they call them idols, like actors. Have you ever seen one of them is decent? And then you will see many people say yes, but then you ask yourself, what decency we are talking about? When they speak, every two seconds they say the F word. When they act, their act have no decency. Uh, or, or their money is extreme. Their wealth is extreme, and yet they school you about how to support the poor. When someone like uh, Bill Gates, he go and he tell you about how to live your life. I mean, look who is talking. Look who is talking about how to live your life. Suddenly Bill Gates became a prophet. He prophesied about the future. He will tell you about the coming virus and the previous virus, and he tell you what to do, what not to do, and the people will, and, and the TV stations are listening as if he's a prophet, he's God. This is all what, about what money does. But if a person who is really smart, and he have a very high education, and he knew what he's talking about, he's a specific, let's just say, specialized in the topic, who is going to listen to him? Nobody. He's not Bill Gates. You don't have billions. You don't have trillions. Who are you? The world today, as the world yesterday, nothing changed. People worship money. Money is the only true God for them. Wherever money goes, corruption goes with it. And anyone who live his life to serve the money, he is going to go to hell. All of us, we need, we need money. We don't want to give you a speech about that money is evil. This is not what we are saying. But when you live for the money, and then when you respect somebody else for the sake of money, you are obviously worshipping the money. When you respect somebody just because he's rich, not because he's decent, and you disrespect somebody because he's poor, not because he is not decent, you are worshiping the money. If you go to a hotel and you have, if you are wearing a homeless clothes, right away they will kick you out. Security, they will come and they will throw you out in the in the in the garbage, just because they judge you by your clothing, even if you are billionaire. Just to change your clothes and see how they'll treat you. This is how the world today is. If you have money, people call you sir. If you don't, they spit on you. So. We need to change the way we look at things around us. We need to examine things. Not everything shiny is gold, and gold is not gold anyway. Because what the point of gold? You want to take it with you. You know, uh, uh, when when uh, I heard the the news about the death of uh, Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple, and he was building a big yacht, and then the yacht which was he building transformed to be owned by his wife and her new boyfriend. <laughs> Imagine the guy, he just died a week ago, a week after she had a new boyfriend. And now she is having boom boom in the new yacht, which he hoped he will live in it for some time. This is how funny life is. So all the billions of dollars could not buy you one day more. All the trillions, all the billions you have could not buy you one second over. He did not even step on it. So be careful, don't be a slave of the devil. He has many ways to come to you.
a lot of ways. He is extremely smart, extremely powerful. Islam is one of them. Money is the other way. Sex is the other way. Gambling is the other way. But all of them, they lead to one thing, temptation. With no temptation, Satan have no opportunity. This is why actually, when we speak against Islam, we show you always that there's nothing there except temptation. I mean, I worship this God, what I will get? Sex, sex, and sex, and the gold and silver. And what is the gold and silver is to buy sex. <laughs> so uh, be aware of, you know, like the, the Bible speak about being vigilant, right? But being vigilant is not about only be aware of what is around you. Don't take wrong friends. Don't associate yourself with bad people. If you think you can fix people, you have to keep a distance. You do your best to teach them. You do your best to fix their life, to help them. But you have to keep a distance. Otherwise, a corrupt person, he can corrupt you easy. You see, the, 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 the weird is that the bad is way more successful than the good. If you put one bad person, like one bad apple in a box, the whole box will not make the apple, the bad one, good. But the bad apple will make the whole box bad. However, with the Christ, we can do what is called miracles. So we can make the bad apple a good apple. Remember, Paul himself, he used to be a person who go after Christians to kill them. But with the Christ, Paul, he became a servant of Christ. From a person who want to kill the Christians to someone he want to serve the Christians. So be aware of what surrounding you and always try to get your strength from the Lord, for he is the only strength you have in your mission and in your direction. Don't depend on yourself only. Don't just say, be proud, I am strong. I'm wise, I am, I am, you know, because all those people who fail, they thought they are wise. They, you know, they thought they are strong. They thought, but they fail. So you need always to strengthen yourself with the Lord, with his wisdom, with the Bible, with, you know, read the Bible, try to always, uh, uh, you know, like when you read the Bible, you read speeches of the Lord, you feel like you are refueling yourself, re you're re recharging yourself. Otherwise, we will be exhausted after some time. For life will make you exhausted. Life comes with a lot of responsibility. And that responsibility, uh, you know, bring temptation. You need, you need money for your children. You need money for your wife. You need money for your car. You need, you need, you need, you need. And how I can get all those needs? And then temptation will come. And temptation will bring bad opportunities. And then you'll find yourself in the lose. All those people who go and do drugs, they buy drugs or they sell drugs simply because they get tempted. They got tempted with something. Somebody tempted them. And the second you put your step there, you are gone. There's a city, actually, I saw a video. Maybe I should make a video about it in Philadelphia. Uh, unbelievable. The whole city looked like a, like a ghost town. People walking in the street like zombies. I'm, I'm serious. It's really disgusting. It's really scary. It, ma it made me literally very sad. I could not believe what I see. I could not believe that young people, they are ending such a way. You will see someone who is not even 20 years old, but he looked like he is 100 year old. Very, very scary. I believe that the most ugly things we have today in this life after Muhammad as a religion is the drugs. Both, both, they go and take you in one direction. Uh, I forgot the name. Uh, let us see. Hold on. Yeah, here we go. Look at this. 
this is this is a city this is a city I, you know when i saw the videos i could not really believe it i could not really believe it it's it's like you are it's like a movie for like it's an unreal movie i never saw such a thing i would never been disgusted as much as when i saw this this is an area in Philadelphia. it's called kensington you can go and search youtube it is the most ugly sad thing ever to see the devil is so ugly and disgusting you will see people bending down in the street talking to themselves you know this this, this drugs they are giving them it, it it destroy your brain and then you are like you are you are standing and then you bend down and then you stay in your place for like half hour or one hour you don't move look at this girl and they are young you see we're not talking about people who they, it's time for them to die we are talking about young generation very scary very very scary i never thought that drugs can reach that point i wish i can play for you those videos you know they might have copyright on them but it is unbelievable disgusting this is why I need to make some videos about drugs because you need you need to be careful you need to teach your kids you need to show them those videos actually show them how they will end You want to see what drugs can do to you? Go watch. I mean, we have tons of a problem without drugs. Do we need to add more to our life? Very scary. Very disgusting. We have a Muslim here. He is saying his name is Jesus, not three God, and he is saying to me, you are a joke. My friend, just to show you that you are stupid. First of all, we Christians don't believe in three gods, and that proved to us again that you are the same as Muhammad. He was a fool, and you are a fool. Your prophet Muhammad, he did not understand Christianity the same as you are, and he thought that Mary, she is part of the Trinity. And now you call yourself Jesus is not three God. How stupid are you? Christians are laughing at you. Keep your name, just for the joke. Jesus is not three gods. Yes, he is not three gods, you stupid idiot. We don't, you are right. The name is correct. <laughs> stupid people. Half a brain drugs. You see the drugs of Muhammad? He's not thinking. Even, did, did he even think about the name? The name supported Christianity, you stupid. Jesus is not three gods. It's true. We don't believe in three gods. We believe in one. So he thought he's attacking us, but in fact he's supporting us. But this is exactly what drugs can do, the drugs of Muhammad. Right? So, you see, here we go. You change. You change now. You believe that God is a three person. A second ago, your name is Jesus, not three gods. <laughs> and as long as you said this, you know, thank you for, for sharing with us, by the way. We really did some joke to change our, to have fun for some time. Look what he, look what he said. Just laugh with me. You believe that God is a three person. How come your stupid Quran believe that we have God, he is one person? And, and uh, let me play with you a trick. Let us see who is more stupid, you or your God. According to the Quran, is it true that the Quran says that the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah? Is that true? That the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah? Are you there, Abdul? If the Messiah is Allah, so who is the second person and who is the third person? <laughs> this is chapter 5, verse number 17. Just to show you that you are certified, eat it like your prophet. Surely disbelieve those who say Allah is the Messiah. Okay, Allah is the Messiah. The Christian, they say Allah is the Messiah. Wonderful. So who is the second person and who is the third person? Are you there, are you there Abdul? Are you going to put your tail between your legs now and you take a nap? 
So who is the stupid of you? It is you who just posted that we Christians believe that God is three person. Well, the Quran says something different. How come you are smarter than Allah? The stupid Allah believe that the Christians believe that the Messiah is Allah. Okay, if the Messiah is Allah, who is the second person and who is the third person? Are you there? Are you there, Abdul? So, I have to agree with you that you are smarter than your God. Your God is stupid. He did not figure it out that we Christians believe in one God, three person. Okay. How come Allah did not notice that? Your God is one? Your God is one idiot. His God is one. So what if he, if your God one is two or three, who cares? Still he is a stupid God. You know, when a Muslim, first of all, we are the Christians who believe that God is one, not you. Your God in Quran says, Qul huwa Allahu Ahad. Ahad does not mean one. Ahad means one of. This is number one. Number two, let us say for the sake of argument, your God is one. What kind of one God, he says, if we want to take a partner, we will take it from, from us. Can you answer me? This God is one God, right? How he say, if you want to take a woman, we take it from us. Who is us? Who is the Muslim who to help us? Here you see the stupidity of this cult. The second you put them into exam, so they do not know the Trinity. They do not know what the Christian believe. And they do not even know what the, their God is saying. Allah, if you want to take a partner, a wife, he will take her from us. Us who? Any Abdul searching Google? Remember, your God is one. So your God is one, but yet he want to marry from us? Why, he have a family? <laughs> is Allah from like Hong Kong, China, uh, San Francisco? Uh, he have a tribe, he have a family. What us? He will marry from us. Who is us? Anyone? Look at them, suddenly they are dead now. It's, it's, look, look, Takbir, Takbir Titan, he will not answer. Huh, see, look what he's saying. He avoid answering, they will not answer. It's very embarrassing. He noticed that his God is a stupid, he says stupid things, so now I'm going to change the topic. Your God is three person. Okay, well, hold on. You see, uh, Chef Renitza, such what? Such, 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 what? This is your prophet, my friend. Your prophet is the one who fell down in the ground and he imagined things never happened. And uh, Aisha, she said that the prophet, he was bewitched. So he imagined he had done a thing. In fact, he did not. So my God is three person because his God, he can be, your God cannot. And now your God is one person. How come he will marry from us? Is Allah going to have sex with himself? When Allah, he says, I'm going to have a woman from us. Is Allah a, 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 a two gender, male and female in the same time? Because if Allah is one and he is saying, if we want to have sex, we will have with us. That means he's having sex with himself. Is he two gender in the same time? My God, he is almighty. Who are you to tell what God can do? You know, when your God, Allah says he have a shin. Did you ask Allah why he have a shin? You don't dare to question. Yeah, he have a shin, that's it, we worship him. If your God, Allah, he says, I am a three person, you will say, okay, I will worship him. <laughs> you are just an Abdul, a follower, blindly. And now I'm waiting for your answer. Allah is going to have sex with us, us who? My God can be one and the same time three person. Your God cannot, we get that because he is not God. My God can have a son without having a girlfriend. Your God cannot do that. The Quran says so. The Quran says how Allah can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend. So Allah cannot be Almighty God. Only Almighty God can do what is impossible. The Bible says nothing is impossible with God.
the impossible is only can happen with someone he is not God so if you go in the Quran chapter 6 verse 101 it says how Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend right anyone somebody saying his name is Rehab Farooq you are all narrow-minded uh, you know etc uh, my friend a person talking about a healthy debate uh, is it healthy to beat your wife like how about you you, you, you you teach yourself the good manner starting from your home so you can debate with your wife when you have an argument a Muslim when he speak about debate since when Muslim believe in debate if somebody disagree with you you, you know your prophet he kill him when you're a prophet, he says, a man should not be questioned for why he is beating his wife. Is that because you Muslim, you learned a good manner of how to debate? How you can win a debate in Islam, you beat your wife. If you cannot even have a good manner with your wife, how you can have good manner with anyone? This is the woman, she cook for you, she sleep next to you, she sleep with you, she give you babies, and you know, and you work hard to feed her too, right? You cannot even have a conversation with her. Why? Because Muhammad, he failed to teach a good manner. So don't tell me about being healthy-minded. A healthy-minded, he will not believe in a prophet saying, beat your wife. The wife is your mother, you idiot. Do you like to see somebody beating your mother? So don't talk too much about healthy-minded and healthy debate. You Muslims are the last one to know what debate is about. Even when the Christians, they came to Muhammad and they said to him, let us debate about it. What Muhammad he said, hmm. eh, let us have cursing party. Bring your wives and bring my wives. Bring your children, bring my children. And let us curse the one who invoke curse to the one who's lying. Have you ever heard of a debate like this? Cursing party? This is the manner of your prophet. Now we go back to the question, who is the Muslim can answer us? Takbir Khan. Christian Prince, us is team term of honor. Look how stupid this is. Look, I mean, I should pay you money man, to come to my channel, my friend. Guys, look at this. I ask him why Allah, he says, I'm going to have sex with us. He says, us is a term of honor. <laughs> stupid, he want to have sex with himself. So Allah honor himself by saying, I want to have sex with myself. Allah, he says, if I ha it's an honor for me to have sex with us, and he call it women, so us is a woman. Copy paste. He search in Google, why Allah, he keeps saying we. They told him it's an honor, majestic, stupid. You see, we got it, we got it. So you are saying to me that Allah, he see that he have no honor if he's one. So he say us. <laughs> People notice that the Muslim they are laughing that we have God who is a three person. Their God is desperate to call himself us. Did you notice? This is what the text means. Allah, he honor himself by giving himself fake us. Because he's not us, he's one. <laughs> so Allah, he feel not respected. He have no enough honor if you call him he. But if you say us, Allah is so happy. How stupid this cult is. Same time, what does have to do with my question? I was asking you, Abdul, how Allah is going to have sex with us. He's not just saying, I call myself us. He's saying, I'm going to have fun, women for fun from us, potato. Potato. And they say to me, why you call them potatoes? Watch their text. There's a million reasons to call them potatoes. Allah want to have sex with us. And then you say to me, this is us honor, stupid. Allah talking about a wife. And you say to us that the us is an honor. So Allah is the wife now. So Allah is the husband, Allah is the wife. His both gender, he have a penis and vagina at the same time. By the way, Dominique, I saw that you are saying to me, happy birthday. What happy birthday? I'm, I am born today? June 5th is my birthday? <laughs> I don't know who told you that. <laughs> uh, that's funny. 
here you see the stupidity of religion. You know, first of all, who cares if your god is one or two? Let us say that there's there's there's, million, there's a billion god. If they are true or not, this is what count. If he's one, if he's two, if he's seven, who care? Correct? I mean, the Muslim, he think like he have something big deal, like our God is one. Your God is one of an idiot of a kind. Who care if your God is one or two or five or seven? The question, how he can be God, yet he say the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man. How he can be God, he don't remember which one he created first, the stars or the trees or the mountains or the, or the, or, or the, or, or, or the, the earth. How he can be God, he think women have a sperm coming from her ribs. So he is one God, but he is an idiot God. Why you are not answering Takbir? Do you think really God would be a single father? Uh, do you think that Allah is a single, a single God or he is married? Just, just, just to show you, they are avoiding the question. Look, the, guys, how many times I repeat the question? How many times I repeat the question? What is the answer? Allah want to have sex with the women, and he say, I want to take her from us. What is the answer? Hey, Christian Prince, do you think he's a single father? <laughs> but Abdul, if there's anywhere in the Bible that says that God, he got married? No. Anywhere that says that? No. So even your stupid Quran could not explain to us why Jesus is born of a virgin Mary. So he's virgin. So obviously there's no sex. God did not have sex with Mary. So they have a baby. His name is Jesus. That is your stupid imagination. Goes even against your stupid Quran. Now we go back to the question. When Allah, he says, if I want to have sex, I want to have with us. Sex with women, us. Who is us? Go, go, go. Go take a... You, know, you remind me of the Muslim woman. She went to Hajj and she... Uh, she took with her black label whiskey. The Saudi police got her busted in the airport. They said to her, aren't you ashamed of yourself in this age drinking whiskey? She said, oh my son, I cannot go walk around the Kaaba. So I drink whiskey and the Kaaba go around me. That's what you do. We ask the question, here we go, the question is very simple. We ask it 3,000 times. If Allah is one, then Allah want to have sex with women so he can have son. He said this women we will take her from us. Who is us? It doesn't matter how many times you repeat the question. They will not answer because obviously Islam is made by a fool. You ask them about Hamas, they answer you about Trump. You talk about Trump, they talk to you about Hamas. The fastest change in topic, Islam or Muslims. Nobody fast change topic as they do. So who's going to give us the answer? Allah is going to have sex with the women. He call her us, who is us? Any Muslim? Who's us? Remember, is Allah is one. Okay, Allah want to have sex with the women. Okay, and then He will take that woman from us. Us who? <laughs> his cousin? Is she his cousin? Any Muslim can give us the answer? Where it does it say have sex? It says if Allah want to take a, a woman, a wife, do, do you know how to read? So Allah will take a wife, but he will not have sex with her? <laughs> so he can have a son. I mean, look at this. Where it says he's going to have sex. Okay, you know what? He will not have sex with her. They will be like brothers and sisters. Are you happy now? Still, you did not answer me. The wife is us who is us he will take a wife from us he will have sex with her okay may Allah penis he lost it you know he was using Clorox instead of shampoo and it fell apart no problem but it's not my topic Allah is going to have a partner 
and he called that partner from us. Us who? So you see the answers, they change the topic. Where it says he's going to have Zegza, where it says that? Genius. Huh? <laughs> Me, myself, and I. <laughs> Good one. Are you there? Us? Who? Where it says it's going to have sex, huh? Where? Supposedly he got me busted. Like it doesn't. It doesn't say that. Well, he's going to have a wife, so he can have a son. How Allah will have a son? Allah in the Quran says, "How can he have a son if he don't have a girlfriend?" Correct. Okay. So Allah cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. Wonderful. Are you there? Abdul Allah he made it clear how can he have a son if he didn't have a girlfriend so Allah first of all he is not God because the God of Mary he can have a son from Mary or born through Mary without having sex with Mary he can the God of Muhammad he cannot he cannot. He need to have a girlfriend. He's a man like us. The proof in front of you. Any Abdul? One or the, the unique thing about Muslims, the second you ask them a very embarrassing question, they change the topic in the speed of light. And they think when they speak about Allah is one, they have a big deal. Who cares if Allah is one or not? Isn't it the Quran says, if this is a book from other than God, or supposed to Allah, you will find tons of contradiction. Okay, we have tons of contradictions. Go watch the video of the guy, what's his name? The guy who left Islam last week. I forgot his name. Uthman. He said to me, show me one contradiction. <clears throat> Refer to the family scriptures. Ah, so Allah has a family. <laughs> you know, honestly, I, you know, the, 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 uh, I don't know. I think those people are paid by Christian prince. This is what the Muslim will, will say later when they watch the video. Takbir Titan says, this is referring to the family structure. Look, you stupid idiot. So Allah have a family now, so you fix it? Guys, he fixed it. He fixed it. Allah have a family. <laughs> but remember, it's Allah is one. But Allah have a family, brother. But Allah is one. So suppose now you fix it? So when Allah, he says, I want to have a partner, this partner from us, he's talking about he have a family? Hey, Tony, we're mafia family. Shoot the guy. You know, we have a town in, in the Middle East, Christian town, but they are very aggressive Christians, very, very aggressive. They don't, they don't, they don't fight, they shoot. So like there's jokes about them so the mother she said she called Tony from the balcony she said Tony the food is ready Tony so he said mom mama don't you see I'm fighting with this guy she said don't fight with him shoot him and come and eat yeah Abdul you want to shoot Allah so you go and eat hmm you mean fake callers? Do you mean fake callers? Uh, yeah, fake callers. Uh, all Muslims, they say that callers who call us are fake, the same as their prophet. Yeah, because they are fake, they think everybody is fake like them. Allah can have a family that, why he said, ah, so look at this. We have improvement in the, in the structures of Islam now. Allah, he can have a family, brother. <laughs> but Allah is one brother. There's no other one. But Allah have a family. Okay, tell us about the family of Allah. <laughs> so Allah have a sister and brothers? 
Is that what you are saying? Supposed to know you fixed it? Hmm? Christian Prince, Allah cannot have a, Allah cannot have a family. That's why he said it would take it from one of us and not uh, look at the genius. So Allah can't have a family. He cannot have a family. <laughs> that's mean he can't be God too. Because the second you say to God, you cannot do something, that's mean he cannot be God. God, he can do everything. That's number one. Number two, God cannot, this God cannot have a family. That's why he said we take it from us. If you don't have a family anyway, us who? I mean, stupidity is amazing. If Allah cannot have a family, and he don't have a family, so us who? He will, he will take it one of us. Us who? Not a woman. No, it says a woman, Abdul. It says lahu. In Arabic, the word lahu means women. But I will go with you. As long you are, you are agreeing now that Allah will take one from us and she is not a woman does that mean Allah is a gay remember it's not a woman it's you who said that not me so I'm going to go with you now so Allah he says I want to take a partner and that partner is from us and you are the one who said not a woman be my witness it's not me this us is not a woman for sure one of us, this is your translation, this is your text, not mine. One of us, so we are many, there's many Allah. And Allah will take a partner from one of those many Allah. And remember, it's not a woman, he said that, not me. So Allah must be a homosexual. Praise be to Allah. The Muslim, they made him homo. What do you want more? We start our program with Allah is one, we end with Allah is a homosexual. And we ended our program that Allah, he says, he will take a partner from us. And supposedly now the Muslim, they explain the verse. <clears throat> so we go back to zero. Takbir. Us who? <laughs> we go back to zero. Us who? As long as you agree that there's us. Us who? Who is the us? How, like how many they are? What is the nature? Us who? <laughs> Brothers and sisters, Allah is one, Allah Akbar, Allah is one. And then Allah became us. And now they are in trouble. They don't know what to say. I was nice to you. And I said, Allah will take a woman. Look what you just did. Allah will take a partner. He is not a woman. He's a man. Or is a guy like him? <laughs> Having a family is below God, your God, limited. He's just a stupid. Where is the us? Answer me, answer me. Stop saying things that have nothing to do with the topic. Us who? You see, you keep going around like a fool. This is your text in the screen. Allah will take a partner from us. Us who? And you said that the one of us, not me. Guys, does it say in his text, one of us? Or this isn't me, I did Photoshop for it. Does it say, take it one, take it from one of us? This is your text. Okay, one of us, that's mean there's many of us. Who are those many? They are Allah's, many Allah. <laughs> he fixed it. Uh, 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 I advise you after we finish the program today to download this video and spread it all over brother give it to Mimi Hijab the tit boy tell him brother you can add this one you can destroy Christian Prince you know tell him uh, the guy who said can I suck your wife tits you remember Mimi Hijab give him the video he's going to destroy me So they give you a, a, a headache. Allah is one. Allah is one. Allah is okay. okay. And then we find that Allah is, is is a joke. They are confused about this God. 
look at this answer look at it this is an answer of a muslim and this guy is a sheikh he's a sheikh by the way this guy is a sheikh from from the university of uh, 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 tits he have a phd in tits like uh, hijab <clears throat> any abdul How many, how many here, how many Muslims they believe in Mr. Allah us? Uh, Andy, my friend, stop uh, uh, spamming the text. We got it, we got it. There's no need to spam the text. We like Balkan too, we like it. But there's no need to spam the text, my friend. Easy. <clears throat> any Abdul? How many of you, Abdul, believe Allah is one of us? He is one of us. Allah will take a partner with one of us. Who 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 support this? Uh, if you support this, I will make you an admin. When the chat is closed. Yeah, don't be narrow-minded. Absolutely, no. I became very open-minded. Look at this. Very open. What do you want more than one of us? Allah gonna have partner with one of us and he said it's not a woman so now it's confirmed that Allah is not after women he's after after men are you there takbir what is the gender of this one of us as long as it's not a woman what is the gender of one of us that one Well, the Muslim they say Allah, he say we as a majestic, but even that is a stupid, because if Allah he feel he is more respected by saying we, that's mean it is more better for Allah to be more than one. I mean, what kind of God he don't feel respected unless you call him we when he is not we? You know what I mean? So you are one and you like to call yourself we? Oh, because I feel more respected. So Allah is not self-confident with himself. So he use a fake title because we is a fake title if you are not we. If you are just one. Correct? But now we have a different story. He is not saying we as a person could describe himself. He is saying when I take a partner from one of us according to the Muslim translation as you see. Are you there, Mr. Takbir Titan? Any Abdul? <coughs> anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep you for long with me because I'm going to have uh, uh, a partner with us now. And uh, because I'm one, uh, I live by myself, but I'm going to take a partner from us. And uh, I will be happy if it's a female. I don't like to have a partner, it, it's a male. <laughs> and look, he get angry. He said, it's not a woman, okay? Supposedly he fixed it. You idiot, you just made your God gay. What's wrong with you? So if Allah wanna take a partner and it's not a woman, so it's what? So you fix it now? You made it even more horrible. Allah, he don't like women, guys. Allah, he like men. A male Allah. He Allah will take a partner for male Allah. Not female Allah. Don't speak, don't, don't disrespect my God, please, Allah. Allah, he don't like female Allah. Allah, he like male Allah. Oh, Allah. That's deep. That's so good. I, actually, if I am you, I will frame this and put it in the bedroom of my, my, my wife. She would be proud about you. She will say to you, you said that to Christian press? And you shake your head. You say, uh-huh. And she say, and you're still alive? <laughs> you will say, uh-huh. She said, Allah did not punish you? He said, no. How come? <laughs> because he's fake. <laughs> If I am Allah, I will, I will send your free shipping and hand it into the moon. After you say that about me. You don't understand my answer. We don't understand your answer for sure. Nobody understands your answer, my friend. Guys, 
Do you think anyone can understand the answer of this Abdul? No way. I mean, you are super genius. Okay, let's put this. You see, answer after answer, and each one explain the one before it. <laughs> Why you don't call me? Do you like to call me? And then nobody will misunderstand you, you know, like misunderstood you. What do you think? You can call me if you want. Let people hear how genius you are. You don't understand my answer. You are, are you capable of understanding a emphatic statement? No, I cannot. You are a fool or what? Nevertheless, my God is one and only one. Your God is single father. Here we go. We go back to zero. So let us go back to the previous. How about you answer? Explain this. You said Allah, he will take one of us. And it's not a woman. My God is a single father. Yeah, my God is not. Is, 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 he's a single father. He is not married. Is that hurting your feeling? Your God is not single. And this is your text. Allah, he was planning for 300 years ago when he said this sentence, he is going to take a partner and he is a partner, one of us. And it's you who said that this partner is not a woman. So Allah, for sure now, he is not a single God. He is a couple. He have a guy in the bedroom. Based on your answer, everybody saw. This is your text, this is your words, not mine. Allah is not a single Allah. Allah is one of us, one of many Allah. And he will not take a partner with one of us as a woman, as you said. So it must be a male. So Allah the male will take partner with other Allah who is a male. And you say to me, you don't understand? No, we understand, it's perfect to you. Oh, correct me, here we go. <sighs> and you know, like, they, they think they are like proud, Allah is one. Who cares Allah is one or not? What kind of God? He says that Solomon, he dies standing on over a stake for a year. What kind of one Allah? He says, I will give you women have big boobs. Or vagina, nobody but his, uh, you know, inside. He described it is inside the vagina. So he's one Allah, but uh, what one of a kind of a stupidity. Anyway, I will let you uh, with this. See, I suppose I'm done a long time ago. Unbelievable. So guys, remember, in the coming period, uh, you know, uh, if I don't come online because I will not be having, um, I'm moving to different location until I have my internet stable. And I will ask Allah to speed up my internet I cannot do that because if this is happening, it would take years before. I, I would never even have internet. You see, the Muslim they keep saying, "Inshallah, next year we will we will take Jerusalem." This is why they don't have it. Inshallah, we'll fix the road. This is why the road. There's a guy he posted a picture of himself when he was six years old next to a hole in his road in the Middle East. Thirty-five years after, he took the same picture next to the same hole. Insha'Allah, we will fix it. <laughs> this is the religion of Insha'Allah, which means nothing will be done. For Allah is fake, Allah does not exist, and Allah has no will. And as you see, the rest is a joke. It's just a collection of stories from the fairy tales of, of the ancient, and the Arabs said that to Muhammad. So, uh, remember, uh, uh, I will be posting uh, short videos mostly in my other account, which is the Arabian Prophet. Let me post a link for you. So don't forget to subscribe to that channel in case you do not see any videos coming here. That's mostly, I mean, I am posting videos in the Arabian account, Arabian Prophet account. So don't forget to subscribe there. And the best way to, try, to trace where my video posted is to subscribe to my Patreon. And as you know, our service for free for everybody, doesn't matter. You are rich, you are poor, we serve everybody. We serve, and doesn't matter uh, who, we love the poor, and the Lord himself, he loved them. So for me, myself, uh, when we say subscribe to Patreon, doesn't mean you have to make a donation, but for sure those who support us, we appreciate them, and your help is needed. So our service for everybody, you can trace always where our video is posted, what channel, by going to Patreon, you can subscribe, and or 
subscribe to do those two channels for now I'm posting either in this one or in the Arabian Prophet find your way you know just to follow up all right so I want to say thank you guys for being here I will try tomorrow if I did not leave tomorrow I'm not sure if I don't feel like driving and going you know uh, uh, I will uh, <clears throat> if I don't feel like I'm, I'm, I'm not able to go uh, I will go live again if not then you will hear some short videos from me until our internet is stable again thank you may the lord bless you and don't forget please to say hello to allah who is going to take a partner from us who us and that us is is one of uh, us who is not a uh, woman as mr uh, takbir he's <laughs> hello takbir i will miss you man <laughs> can i can i take your text with me like during the time i'm like until i have internet brother so i can see it every day brother Takbir, can I see it every day, brother? I'm thinking, brother, to feel better, like, because if I don't see your text and your crazy answers, I will get depressed. Honestly. I mean, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I can handle it. I think I'm going to copy this text. Hold on, let me take a picture of him in my phone. Because my, my computer will be in the box, you know, my, my, when I'm moving. So I will not be able to open the computer, use the internet. But I can see it in the phone. Hold on. Let me take a picture. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Smile. And yeah, we took a picture. Allahu Akbar. So now, anytime I go, like I, I go to break for lunch, I look at the phone. Takbir Titan. Allah cannot have a family. That's why he said, we take it from us, one of us, and not a woman. Actually, I'm going to go, like everywhere, I'm going to show them. Like I go to a restaurant, I say, read this, read this. Can you explain this to me? <laughs> I will make every... If a police has stopped me when I'm driving, I will show him this. This guy will forget even my name. He will forget even to see that the that, 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 that papers of the car. He will not give me a ticket. He will say like, <laughs> man, you made my thing. Okay, go, go, go. That's so good. That's so good. You're so, you're a genius. I don't know, like, I don't know what to say. I mean, if, if, if I'm a Muslim, I will make a statues for you. I mean, for sure we have to cut the tail. You know, it's not suitable to have a tail, you know. But, you know, I mean, it's just a prestige thing. But if I'm a Muslim, I will put a statues for you in Mecca. And in, in the worst scenario, in Somalia. Like, and under your name, we write like the part of the Caribbean. <laughs> Jack Sparrow and the fountain if you by the way uh, Titan don't Titan don't forget to watch the Jack Sparrow video did you watch it brother actually between me and you I'm not moving anywhere except to find the fountain of youth see I'm getting older to be honest with you I just noticed I have a gray hair you believe it gray hair me unbelievable so I'm thinking if I go and I uh, find the fountain of youth, which your prophet, he spoke about it very nicely. <laughs> like a brother, if a drop of water from that fountain drop on a dead body, the dead body will come back to life. And now, I should not say that to you, all of you, because now all of you will go and get your cars, start tracing my GPS. Uh, by the way, I don't use GPS, normal GPS. I use the GPS of Allah. You remember the story of Moses? Allah said to him, go, keep walking until you find the rock. <laughs> I mean, it's very easy to find the rock. I mean, you go all the way from Israel, all the way to Bahrain. And then he found the rock. There's no rocks in the road. Two, three thousand miles, there's no rocks between them. Until you find the rock. And the funny, the Bahrain is an island. How does this guy keep walking? Unbelievable name. Allah is all wise. He went all the way to Bahrain. And he keep walking, keep walking, keep walking until he found a rock. Which rock? There's only one rock at that time, brother. At that time, there's no rocks. Only one rock in the whole earth. So it's very easy to find it, you know? So anyway, this is, what, this is my plan, actually. I'm going to keep driving, 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 and driving, driving, driving. You know the thing, you know the thing. And then driving, 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 and you know the thing. And then, you know, the thing until I, you know, I arrived to the, the thing. And then, you know, the thing, you know, uh, we find a spring of water next to the thing. And, you know, we became uh, the thing, you know. So I, I hope I explain to you everything now. And I, I think you became genius after all of this conversation. You know, you have to face it. 
So, Mr. Takbir Titan, I advise you to tell your wife, I, I, I advise you to switch the internet off until I delete this video. Because if your wife, she see your answers, my friend, she will feel so lucky to have you. She will say to herself, man, Allah, he helped me to choose the best of mankind. Look at this answer. He got the Christian prince busted. Allah cannot have a family. That's why he would take it from one of us, not a woman. I mean, how how come I didn't? That's so. Yeah. Did you, did, uh, Titan, are you thinking to open a TV station under your name or something? I advise you to do it. I mean, you will find millions of subscribers. Just say you are a convert. Okay, I will give you the way, the secret, to make your TV popular. Those Muslims, just say, I, 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 Titan was a Catholic converted to Islam. Oh, no, 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 hold on. Say, Titan was the Pope, and his. Uh, once I went to a chat room. The chat room have like thousand people, you know, like they pay for it. Crazy chat room. All they are Muslim Sunni. So I posted in the chat, the, the wife of the the third wife of the Pope and his mother who died last year they converted to Islam today what the third wife of the Pope and his mother who died last year they converted to Islam today the admin who was speaking in the microphone he said people people stop Allahu Akbar stop 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 the text stop 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 and he like stop and he says look at this Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar the third wife of the Pope and his mother who died last year, they converted to Islam today. Allahu Akbar. Allah, and the guy starts screaming and the text went so crazy. And then one of them, like he, he took the microphone, he said, what's wrong with you? How his wife, third wife, the Pope don't get married. And his mother who died last year converted to Islam today. I mean, but if you see the chat room for the last, for the coming 20 minutes, they were going crazy. Allahu Akbar, Christianity is destroyed. Allahu Akbar, how unbelievable. The, the third wife of the Pope and his mother, who died last year, converted to Islam today, and the Muslim went so crazy. They don't think, they don't think, they just, just say anything. So, Abdul, you can open a station called Pope Takbir Titan. Ex-Pope. Titan today. <laughs> they will believe it, trust me. Just say anything, you know? Anything, anything. Just defend Islam, they will subscribe, and your, your channel will go crazy. You are going to beat me, trust me. Like, in this channel, I have how many? 56, 50,000? 50, so I don't know how many in this channel. It's a small channel. My friend, if you do a channel like this, you will have them in two days. I'm telling you, the Muslims, they love those things. You know? Like, uh, there's there's a guy he made a channel a banana tree com like a, a video banana tree converting to islam a million people watch the video man and why the banana tree converted to islam the banana have a branch bending down <whistles> he's praying to allah a banana tree converted to islam what do you want more i i need to learn how to make videos and I, I, you know, actually, if you think about even the banana fruit, they are bowing down to Allah. Look at them, how it's curved. Like, let me show you. Hold on, hold on. Because many of you are naive. You are not smart. Sorry to say so. I mean, I'm going to hurt your feeling badly today. Okay? Hey, Christians, I'm going to hurt your feeling. You face it, face it. You have to face it. If you look at the picture of the banana, if you go on YouTube, you will find hilarious videos. The reaction of dog to the Adam. Even the dog have reaction, is scared. <laughs> React, a cat, the cat, she don't walk over the Quran. <laughs> and then David would get them busted. So look at this, look at this. Brother, <clears throat> think about it. Why, why this uh, banana is bending down like this? Think about it. Brother, they converted to Islam. Hey, but the brother, the banana, when they are tree in the tree, they are in the opposite direction. Uh, what? Yeah, they are not going down. They are going up. Uh -huh. Yes, brother. Let me show you. <laughs> Do you see how they are, brother? <laughs> they
They are going up, not down. <laughs> I'm not going to go uh, more in details how they go up. But do you see how they are? Oh boy. <coughs> anyway, just let it go, let it go. Stupidity is amazing. Yeah. A cat converted into Islam, a dog reaction to the Quran, a bird reaction to the music, uh, a, 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 a Catholic reaction to the Quran, and you will see a guy, he put his picture like, and he's looking and his mouth is open, like, wow. And you know, there's many evil people, they knew what Muslims they like, so they make those videos with those titles so they can get subscribers. Uh, Actually, once I made a video, YouTube took it down because it was hilarious about plan, plants converting to Islam. <clears throat> Muslim trees. Muslim trees? Yes, brother, Muslim trees. Uh, eggplant converting to Islam. <laughs> Your mocking will make us stronger. My friend, thank you for saying it is a mocking. So you are saying that mockery is bad? So how come your prophet mocking everybody? And what is the answer? Huh? Is it true that your prophet, he called the trees and the trees say shahada? So you just said, I'm doing, guys, did he say this is a mockery? Did he say that? So he admit that Muhammad when he says something, he is making mockery of Islam. Because it's your prophet who said that he called two trees to come to him and he asked them to say shahada and they converted to Islam and they went back home. Am I lying or is it true? So because you are an idiot and you know that this is funny and stupid to believe in, you right away come to the conclusion that this is a mockery when in fact this is what your prophet said. So when we say what your prophet said, you right away believe it's a mockery. That is really bad for your prophet. You just admitted that your prophet, the second he opened his mouth, he says stupid things. Is it true that your prophet, he asked trees to say shahada and they converted to Islam? Yes or no? Because if I'm lying, then you are right. If I'm not, then why you are saying it's a mockery? Did your prophet do that or not? Tree converting to Islam, and the tree they walk for him, guys. The tree they walked for Muhammad. They walked to him, they walk. The tree they walk, you know, I watch it in the, the, the Lord of the Ring. What is the other movie? It's called what? I forgot uh, the name of the movie. The, the trees came to Muhammad and he, uh, you know, uh, uh, and then they said shahada and they went back. <clears throat> Any Muslim have a comment? Is that a true story or Muhammad is? Making up stories or those true stories? Is Muhammad is a crazy man? Who is a Muslim here? He agree or not? Let me show you the hadith actually. <clears throat> and this is a Sahih hadith. Maybe I can't find it in English. Uh, I can't find it in English. Let us see this different one. But we can show you here, you know. And this is a Sahih Hadith. We can translate. It says here, he asked the tree to come to him and uh, uh, a person who he, he was there, he said the Shahada and he says, who is witnessing to you? He said, this is tree. Muhammad, he claimed that he is a prophet. Right, <clears throat> and 
Muhammad is saying that the tree will witness for me. So then the prophet, he asked the tree to come to him. So she came from the other side of the valley and she was creeping in the ground until she stood between his hands. And then he asked her to say Shahada three times. And then she said the Shahada three times and she went back. And this is Google translation. Let us do it. And I can give you the link. And this is Sahih Hadith. <clears throat> All right. You see, this is this cinema here. Cinema is a tree, so translation isn't coming good. And she creep, she keep walking to her creeping until she stood between his hands. And then she said the Shahada. She came from the shore of the valley, as you see. And then she came and uh, stood in the ground in front of him. And then she took the Shahada. And as you see, this is a Sahih Hadith. <clears throat> is that a mockery or this is a true story? You can say whatever you want, but obviously Muhammad's stories are funny and stupid. Anyway, guys, I think it's time for me to go. Uh, I will challenge you for a debate. Okay, you want to do it now? Jesus is God. I was going to leave, but if you do, if you're there to debate me now, I will stay. The one who is saying he challenged me for a debate. Are you willing to do it now? Honestly, I need to go, you know, but I, I will stay just for the sake of you. So do you want to debate me? I will give you a banana if you win. What do you think? Honestly, if you win, I will give you a banana. So do you dare to call me now or you are just trying to be a, a, a hero in front of your boyfriend? boyfriend? Are you a real person or you are just trying to make a show in front of your boyfriend? Do you dare to call me? What happened to the guy who still want to debate me? Potato. Uh, Jesus was a Muslim. That's a good thing to say, Abdul. Very funny that Jesus was a Muslim, but he is not a child molester like Muhammad. Jesus was a Muslim, but he didn't have many wives like Muhammad. Jesus was a Muslim, but he's not a rapist like Muhammad. Jesus was a Muslim, but he did not go to his own son, wife, and he flirted with her like Muhammad. Jesus was a Muslim, but Muhammad did not even uh, circumcise himself. Jesus was a Muslim, but uh, Jesus never committed sin. Muhammad was filthy, terrorist, killer, thief. And he was uh, one of those, you know, you know. Jesus was a Muslim. So if Jesus was a Muslim, so how come Jesus did not do what Muhammad do? How come he is not faithy like Muhammad? So you Muslims, you are desperate to make everybody Muslim. Even Alexander the Great is a Muslim. He is a homosexual. He is a bisexual, actually. You made him a Muslim prophet. Anyone, anything, Trump is a Muslim. Hmm. Get lost. Coward. Jesus said, My father, how he can be a Muslim? Do you Muslim believe that God is your father? Do you believe in a father and a son? Jesus says, I am the truth. Do you believe that Jesus is the truth, which means he's God? Jesus says that the Holy Spirit, do you Muslim believe that God is a spirit? You don't. So stop being a foolish, stupid idiot. You Muslim don't believe even the nature of your God is different. Your God is just a solid concrete, a shin, a fingers, five fingers, hands, two hands in the right side, face, ass, but he have no spirit. He is dead. He's a concrete. So when you say that Jesus was a Muslim, you are just trying to insult Jesus. Shame on you. Why Jesus was a thief like Muhammad? Jesus, he did miracles. Allah has zero miracles. Muhammad has zero miracles. So if Jesus was a Muslim, the first thing will happen to him, he will have zero miracle. 
But this is the nature of this religion. They hijack everything. They hijack all good names. Even bad names, they hijack them. It's a religion of hijacking. One day I will die, they will say, Christian Prince, before he died, he gave finger to Allah and he became a Muslim. Just wait. Anything convert to Islam, anything. Cats are Muslims, trees are Muslims, eggplant is Muslims, eggs are Muslims, they are possessed. You know? The only thing is not a Muslim is lizard. You know that story, right? Lizard, the enemy of Allah. I mean, have you ever heard of religion? They believe that Mr. Lizard is the enemy of Allah, and they have a duty to do jihad against Mr. Lizard. And why? Because brother, the lizard, he was trying uh, <coughs> to, to burn Abraham, brother. Brother, the lizard, brother. Everything is a Muslim except the lizard, brother. And brother, the story of the wither of the lizard is true. Yes, brother. Actually, even science prove it, brother. Uh, uh, I played a video just uh, two days ago, right? You remember? Where the sheikh, he says the fraud, the frog, the frog, the frog, sorry, the frog. He, he, he is dark in the color because his skin burned because he was trying to put the fire down on Abraham. He go to the water, the frog, and he put water in his mouth, and he come, he jump, he jump, he jump, he jump, walk, 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 and he jump in the top of Abraham, he put water on him. But the lizard, brother, the lizard, the enemy of Allah, brother. Oh boy. And look here, look, look, Muhammad, the genius. Muhammad, he refused to eat lizard because he thought they are Jews. <coughs> I placed before him uh, and I took a stick, counted his fingers, the lizard, okay? Then he says, a group of children of Israel were transformed into animals in the land. <laughs> Muhammad, he see, uh, wherever he look at, he see Jews, even the lizard. Yes, brother. But look who is the story. Look, look, look. Beautiful story. A woman, she came to Aisha to the house and she said she saw her. She's holding a stick in her hand, uh, beating the lizard, trying to kill the lizard. So the woman, she said, what is this? Aisha, she said, we killed those house lizard with it for the prophet of Allah told us that when Ibrahim was thrown into the fire, there was no beast on earth that did not try to put it out apart from the house lizard. He blew on it. Abdul, even pigs, they tried to put the fire on Abraham? That means pigs are good. Every animal in the earth tried to put the fire down except lizard? You know, I don't know what to say. I think this is a true story. Based on this, I'm thinking to convert to Islam. I mean, think about it. Who knows those stories unless he is a prophet of Allah? How Muhammad he knew this? He was not in the time of, of Abraham. Allah told him, look this lizard, look. Shame on you, lizard. You tried to kill our father Abraham? You think I'm going to forgive you? I'm going to grab my guns. I have a lot of bullets here. And I will go to the backyard as we speak. And I'll, I, I will use the, the night vision one. I have a night vision, you know? And I will use the night vision and I will wait for them. You think you can get away with your crime? You want to burn our father Abraham? And you think you can get away with it? But Allah will never let that happen. Allah will go after them. And until now, those, those lizards are really in alarm. Look at this guy. 
He knew. He knew what is coming. The Mujahideen is coming after him. Takbir. ISIS, Al-Qaeda, everybody. He knew he's wanted. I mean, where you can hide? Think about it. Where, where? Mimi Hijab is ready after you. Ali Dawa. Sisi and Dudu. You're, that's it, you're target, you're, you're finished, boy. You're finished, boy. So we have to, you know, we have to think about it. And, you know, we have to recognize the reality and science. This, this filthy creature was trying to burn our father Abraham. And what we do, we are wasting our time in the internet of start going to do jihad against the lizard. You know, uh, Abdul, don't you think that lizards are very useful? I mean, they control uh, 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 the nature, uh, you know, who is going to save your vegeta vegetation in the desert if you don't have lizard? No wonder your, your desert is dead because you kill all the lizard. Anything, anytime the Muslim, they see lizard, they go crazy. This is the one who controlled the insect. He, he's your help, actually. Lizard is very useful. When you kill them, you are killing your nature, you are killing your food. Lizards don't eat your food. They kill the one who is going to eat your food. <sighs> Lizard. Anyway, I think I'm going, uh, I'm, I'm going to kill some lizard and I'm going to take a selfie with them and I will post it in Patreon. You know, and, and by the way, uh, <clears throat> uh, I heard that Muhammad once he took a selfie with lizard, but then he deleted his post from Twitter because people could not recognize who is Muhammad between them. So like, which one, which one? The one in the right, the one in the left, you know? Uh, because look, the lizard, he have five fingers like Allah. Did you notice? Do you think the lizard is Allah? I mean, Allah have two hands. He have five fingers. He have two eyes. And the picture here is showing one shin. Well, or maybe he have no two shin. Anyway, I don't know. I'm confused, really. I'm trying to recognize Allah. Hard to know him. Hard, hard, very hard. You know? But anyway, I don't like this lizard. To be honest with you, I let me change this picture. It's making me like feel depression. Especially after I heard the story that this is the person who tried to kill Abraham. It made me feel sad, you know, remember, like, I wish I was there uh, because, you know, I have, like, a big, big uh, con water container. You know, I can use it to help uh, Abraham, you know. Uh, and those lizards are, look, look at this dangerous one. Look at this one. Look. Look at this idiot. Uh-oh, I click at the wrong, sorry, guys. Look at this one. Look, look. Look, look, look at this, guys. He put his hand. Look, uh, Alhamdulillah. It's a miracle of Allah, brother. Look, he put his hand under his chin. Look, 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 look. He's a human. This is why the Prophet, he thought that they are, those are the Jews who Allah, he made them a lizard. This is Jack Shalom. Look, 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 look. His hand, look, his hand here. See his hand? See, so like, you know, a human being, he put his hand under his uh, shin, like his his, his, uh, his uh, neck, you know, like, uh, you know, look at this. Unbelievable. So the Prophet was right when he says he, he, he know that there's some a group of Jews. Allah, he transformed them into animals, and he is not sure if they became lizard. This is Jack Shalom. Let me introduce to you Jack Shalom. This is, this is Jack Shalom after transformation. Transformation. But you know what? Somehow he looked like Netanyahu. I mean, he looked like the leader of Hamas sometime, you know? But I don't know. I mean, I'm confused. Because look, he have a beard. I don't know if you can see the hair here. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. Man. Anyway, life is getting complicated, and with the Prophet with Muhammad, we feel like we are in Discovery Channel. 
and we discover uh, you know we go in journey with time lizard trying to burn Abraham uh, the frog put water in his mouth that's why we should not love the frog don't eat frogs you know the frog he tried to actually the frog he burned his skin trying to stop the fire on Abraham the frog he was a firefighter very noble job I mean look at the Muslim imagination I mean even the frog they made him part of stopping the fire the frog brother he go to the water because a frog live next to the water Makes sense, makes sense. You see, logic, logic, uh, extreme strong logic here. Yeah. I mean, don't think that this is like a fiction or no, no, this is true. You know, like, I don't know if you like to watch like uh, uh, Disneyland movies or, you know, frog. <sighs> mean. Oh, we better stop here with the frog. Otherwise, things is going crazy. Oh boy. Oh. What we can say. Anyway, bad boys, bad boys. What you can do? True stories. Muhammad didn't lie. Everything the prophet he says a prophet is a prophet, you know, we have to face it I mean the Christian they try to run away from the truth, but the truth will follow you. You cannot run away from this What you can do, you know? Yeah, I remember when Muhammad he spoke about the story of the sparrow The sparrow who was in love with his wife It was a very true story, you know He was sad and he spoke to Solomon. I don't know. I mean, Solomon. You know, you know. Don't you think, you Muslims, you think that Solomon was a hippie somehow? He was a hippie, wasn't he? Solomon, the ant. He understand what he is saying. He understand what the ant is saying. He spoke to the sparrow, and the sparrow he's lost his wife and his girlfriend, and he didn't want to do, do more dating. I've told me a lot of stories. Very beautiful, you know. And uh, you know, and uh, uh, Suleiman he understand the language of the ants, but the ants don't talk. I mean, they communicate, yeah. Uh, all the creatures they do, but they don't talk. I mean, it's not talking. They communicate by vibration and chemical. How 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 uh, Suleiman he heard her speech the ant. Allah he can do things nobody can do. This is why Allah is a very unique God, you know. And now I understand why ants they have an antenna. Look look look. I think she was communicating with Solomon with their antenna. Like tak 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 And then Suleiman he have Allah he put antennas for him too. And then Suleiman, he, you know, when he heard her speech, he was laughing so deep. Who knows those things save Allah? Nobody. Like imagine you are a king walking down the street, la 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 la. And then an ant, she screamed at the other ant. She said to them, hide, otherwise Suleiman will crush you. What is killing me? How she knew his name is Suleiman. I mean, I get it that Suleiman he understand now the language of the ant, but yet Allah he taught him the language of the birds. I mean, have you ever heard of such a knowledge? <coughs> Allah taught him the language of the birds. Suleiman understand the language of the ants. <laughs> it's like somebody go, went to learn the language of the cows. He went out speaking to the cats, and okay, and now. The ants, she said to the ants, run away, otherwise Suleiman will crush you. How she knew his name? <whistles> That's deep. Do you think this uh, uh, this ant, she was a prophet or something? And he was telling tell, tell us how the ant, she knew the name of the... Huh? 
look look we, if you go to chapter 27 the, the chapter of the ant and there is a valley by the way it's called the valley of the ants yeah I mean no but because this is nobody there ex except ants you know so in chapter 27 when Suleiman he arrived to the lowly valley of the ants look at this in the time of Suleiman there's a valley for the rabbit valley for the lizard valley for the frog valley for donkeys valley for horses valley for chickens and there's valley for the ants so he arrived there one of the ants look not all of them we have to be honest here only one the rest are mute only one ant she can talk one of the ants she made a phone call ye oh ye ants go into your habitation lest Solomon and his horse will crush you and until now I'm suffering to know how she knew the name of Solomon like I understand that Allah he made Suleiman understand what she said but I don't understand how Allah made the ant I mean did Allah make her know that this is Solomon my brother he was so famous Solomon he was famous between all the females in his time remember this is a female ant so it's very normal for female ant she knew about Suleiman Suleiman was very handsome and you know females you know them come on I mean put yourself in the shoes of any female at that time do you think you will not know about Suleiman I mean let us be honest here you are a king you are handsome you know very handsome hand and some you know so uh, and then uh, a female ant what do you expect a very handsome king is walking down the valley and this ant she is wearing high heels she have lipstick manicure body care you know perfume like she's like ah, hello so and finally Suleiman is coming so she knew him like hey Suleiman is coming like, like you know unbelievable true story uh, uh, it's very well documented too I mean Allah himself is speaking about the story I mean look how important the story to this God is God this God he want to tell us how Suleiman he heard the end <laughs> very deep thinking this God is a philosopher he's a flaton actually he's afla and ton together Today, I'm going to tell my followers, my the one who worship me, about this amazing story, okay? So let me tell them. Suleiman, he was walking, and then he heard an... <laughs> this is God. If this is God, what is this stupid? No more comment. So guys, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And remember... Um, I, if I stay away for some time, I will I'm move into a different location until I set up my stuff and I have a good speed internet uh, to go back live again. Uh, I will post short videos from time to time. You can check them out in Patreon or subscribe to my other account, Arabian Prophet, because I might start posting there, not in this account, just to give this one a break maybe. We will see. All right. So this is my other account, the Arabian Prophet. I will post the link. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification here and there so you can receive notification when I go live or I do uh, short videos. But for now, for sure, I might not go uh, in live for some time, as I explained to you. And the reason I keep repeating this, so you will not be worried if I am away and you say what happened to him, etc. Anyway, nobody will miss me. <laughs> Even the ant will not. <laughs> for many reason, I'm not a king, I'm not handsome. I mean, come on, if you are Suleiman, and you are handsome, and you are king, even ants will know your name, but me, who will know my name? <laughs> think about it, think about it, you know, I mean, this guy, he, I mean, he broke the heart of everybody, even female ants. At that time, by the way, Suleiman, I think, I mean, female ants, they used to subscribe to his channel. That's why he have a big, big, sub do you know how many ants there is in the world? How many, how many female ants to make it more clear? So you are handsome and you are a king and those female ants are going crazy on you. They want to eat you alive, literally. You are like sugar for them. <laughs> Unbelievable. True story. So until we see you again, guys, I say may the Lord bless you. 
take care of yourself and again if i if you don't hear me from me uh being live for some time don't worry be happy uh, i'm just looking for some ants and moving to different location until i set up my stuff get my internet ready then we will go live again but i will make videos maybe once a week or every few days until then i say may the lord bless you all and i pray for the muslim to see the truth and the truth will set you free and ask yourself muslims if this is god's story so what is disneyland story if this is god what he have time for but he had no time to tell us what happened to jesus he had time to tell us stories about ants ants warning the ants what a wisdom and all of us we knew that those stories are taught by the jews to their children they are the legion of the Jews. You can search the book right now in the internet. It's for free because it's more than 100 years old. It's called the legion of the Jews. You will see all those stories is there. This is where Muhammad, he got his stupid stories, claiming that Allah is the one who taught him. Thank you. God bless you. And until we see you again, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we prove it every day. Take care. Bye-bye.